metallic menace? The Aztec medallion, where is it? I said, where is it? Oh, oh, oh mighty malevolent master. <laughs> There were... <coughs> there were some pop... You bungling bucket of bolts! <laughs> the slightest little problem, and you just... <laughs> go to pieces! Return with that medallion, Fangstar! Or it will be... <laughs> Vampire fleas for you, you mangy mess! <laughs> Vampire fleas! <laughs> I won't let you down, your wickedness! <laughs> Once I have that Aztec medallion, Aparicia, nothing can stop me. Come, Aparicia. <sighs> it is time to deal with that traitorous headless horseman. Hey, Tracy. Where's the pizza? It's game time. Oh, no! Huh? What? A banana pizza? <laughs> I can't stand it, not banana pizza, not again! <laughs> Hold still! Uh, hello, you've reached the Ghostbusters. They can't come to the phone right now. They caught bananas. <laughs> ah, gotcha! Oh, no, 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 no. This is the Ghostbusters. Jake speaking. What? <laughs> Call Jessica. Tell her we'll meet her at the pier. It's Madam Y. There's ghost trouble. We're going ghostbusting! <laughs> Wait, guys! Gee, Belfry, somebody needs to stay here in case we get any important calls. Uh, you can have the pizza, Belfry. Huh? Yuck. Let's go! Let's go! is gonna meet us at the pier. Step on it, Tracy. <laughs> There's Madam's wagon. Seems quiet. False alarm. I knew it. Let's go home. I 
don't like the sound of that. Eddie. 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 Huh? You and Tracy search the pier. I'll check out Madam Y's wagon. Sure, Jake, sure. We'll search the dark old pier, no problem. You go right out the nice warm white pro. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Where's Jake? I got here as fast as. Oh! Jake, what is it? I have no idea. I hope Madam knows. I can figure some spirits trying to make contact with us. But what kind of lame brain ghost to do it like this? T -t Tracy? Jessica? I hope. I have come to help you. I assure you, my only intention is to warn you about prime evil and the Aztec medallion. Come on, Headless. You expect us to swallow that? Easy, Jake. Ah, it's all right, madam. I don't blame Jake for not believing me. How can I? After what you did to my great-grandfather. Why? What did he do? Plenty. Hmm. Come. I show you what Headless did. <laughs> Happened a long time ago, when Jake's great grandfather was a young man. He had discovered a fabulous gold mine, but Prime Evil wanted that mine for his own wicked purposes. So he sent his ghosts to hunt the mine. Prime Evil and his gang frightened away all the workers. Jake's great grandfather tried to work the mine himself, but he couldn't. The mine was closed down. It took years for Jake's great-grandfather to regain his fortune. And you were one of those ghosts that haunted the mine, weren't you? Yeah, I was, but... But nothing. We can't trust him. He's just trying to uh, get ahead with prime evil. <gasps> headless! You... you're not headless! Hey, I'm only here to warn you about the Aztec medallion. Yeah, the whole headless bit was Prime Evil's idea to make me scarier. It didn't work. You see, my problem is I can't bear to really scare anyone. Oh, yeah? I only like scary things that are fun, <laughs> like Halloween. <laughs> now that's fun. Jake, I've read about this Aztec medallion. If Prime Evil gets his hands on it, that would mean big trouble. She's right, Jake. Whoever controls the medallion controls the secrets of the Aztecs. Prime Evil would become the most powerful force on Earth. All right. Then we have to get the Aztec medallion before Prime Evil does. You say you want to help us, Headless. Will you lead the Ghostbusters back in time to the days of the Aztec Empire? Madam, no! I'll lead them there, madam. You can trust me. Well, 
I guess we don't have much choice. Let's go ghost busting! Ghost busting, what an unfortunate phrase. We're over Mexico. Hit the time warp. Whoa, no time warps. No way. Get it. What? Let's go home. Yeah, those time warps are pretty tough. And GP's old and dilapidated and... Oh, dilapidated? You just hang on to your hat, Mr. Smarty Pants Eddie Spencer Jr. What'd I say? <laughs> time warp, you bozos! On your toes! Here we go! Exactly where we will find the Aztec medallion. Various, if you're telling us the truth. <laughs> you still don't trust me. It's so strange, so empty. <laughs> uh, it's not completely empty, Fangster's here. Up there! After him! Let's go! Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys, be on the lookout for booby traps. <laughs> hey, Trace! Think this might be one of those booby traps? Hey, <laughs> okay, I won't touch you. Take it easy. <sighs> what do you take me for, Tracy? Medallion, Fangster. Eddie, look out! Out of my way, ghost bunglers! Oh no! <laughs> Good work, Eddie. All right. All right, Fuzzface. Don't. I'm the sorcerer of Nescatuto. What is the meaning of this intrusion? 
Sir, we came to prevent the theft of the medallion. We... Oh, we were trying to steal it. I stopped them. Thanks to your lion. <laughs> did not, did not. Intruders! The sun beast shall judge you. What do you mean, the sand beast? Hell! Tracy, quick! <laughs> I guess this is what you might call a tight spot. <laughs> so long, fuckers. Uh, did he have to say suckers? <laughs> what? Saved. You are free to go. Okie dokie. Well, what about Fangster? Don't worry, Eddie. I'm sure Prime Evil will give Fangster just what he deserves. <laughs> what a lovely reward! <laughs> Getting Prime Evil's vampire, please, for a whole month! <laughs> You lucky dog, you! <laughs> well, all's well that ends well. I just hope I have redeemed myself in some small way. Headless, are you kidding? We'd have never stopped Primeval without your help. That's right, Headless. You're okay. I owe you an apology. <laughs> and now we're gonna help you, my friend. Because I have a really terrific idea. Come on, guys. Where do you see this? <laughs> oh, boy, is this ever great. The kids are having a good time. And so am I. Thanks, Jake. Great work, partner. <laughs> That's for being big enough to admit you were wrong about Headless. And that's for teaching him that it's much more fun to make people laugh than to frighten them. Hi, folks. I think Jake would like to say something. Jake? Thanks, Gilly. I sure do have something to say. I want to tell all you boys and girls just what I learned today. You see, I didn't want to trust the Headless Horseman because of mistakes he'd made in the past. But when Madam gave him a second chance to prove himself, well, he really did. So remember, everybody, your friends, your family, even you make mistakes. And everybody deserves a second chance.